Hey everyone, Merrick's here bringing you another video. This is going to be the feud prep uh, for the faction feud that's coming up this weekend uh, with Titan Otis. So we have a lot of changes this feud, uh, in particular the scoring. So on the left of my screen here you can see the scoring key. Each battle is worth 10,000 points. Uh, every 50 points of damage is worth 10 war score points. A first time win is worth 25,000 points. Finishing a brawl is worth 250,000 points. You can increase the talent of any acrobat for a thousand points per talent. And, um, increasing your feud war score is worth two points. So, uh, and a loot pull is 300,000. Uh, max milestone for the solo event, the um, Montez Ford, is 110 million. Um, so definitely a higher point total, different style than we've looked at in the past. I'm going to be making a few assumptions based on several things which I will get into um, for the way I figured out this scoring possibilities. Um, so I have no idea how many hit points a Titan Otis will have. If you guys remember a long while back, I think when four star gold was the still, still the level cap, we had the, the Titans collide event and, um, there were some really high level Titans. And I, I was thinking back to that and I think they were like about the same hit points as a five star silver is now. They were doing dem gem damage like a four star gold, but they had tons of hit points. So I kind of am going off of that for an assumption that these Titans will have more than the average amount of hit points. So I put three different hit point um, milestones, if you want to call it that, up there. And, and those are complete guesses. Uh, I don't have any inside information. This could be wrong. Um, just looking at how the scoring breaks down and stuff and how long it'll take, I'll kind of get into to why I picked these amounts um, later as well. So the other reason is the blog post. Uh, if you read that, and I'll read it right here, fight with your Titan or with other superstars against your opponent's Titan to maximize points in the Titan feud. Scoring differs from regular feuds. Winning is a bonus, but not the objective. Dealing damage against the Titan, even if he is not defeated, will yield massive points. Do as much as you can within the time limit. So that's kind of what I'm going off of, is that they're talking about um, the Titan and doing damage being the best way to points even if you don't win the match so based off of that assumption and the way the damage breaks down for the points that's kind of why i came up with th these three totals i'm more inclined to think somewhere between the five and ten million mark um but i don't know that that's correct uh so that's why i did that um after that there's I'm the 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 grayed out one that's got the uh, X through it. I believe has to be Otis, really. Um, I think five is going to be the minimum on this, and I think brawl timers are going to be short. Again, I don't know that for sure, um, and that isn't uh, any information from Scopely or anything like that. These are all my thoughts, opinions, um, stuff from maybe some people that check code have said so this is all subject to being not accurate at the end of the day i'm just trying to give you guys the best information i can um, so take everything with a grain of salt uh, so if five is the minimum uh, and there's no middle line bonus like this most of the battle seems to be centered around this top line which i'm going to assume this is otis and that the other one is open because it's open right now that bonus, if you look at it, is huge. 50% to power gems, 100% to multiply gems, and 100% to bleed move damage, as well as a 10% increase to your war score. So looking at that, right off the gate, I look at that and I'm like, who's somebody that has a lot of those abilities? And I think Zombie Triple H. Um, 
He was a chase character. Uh, a decent amount of people had him, have him. Maybe not everyone. Uh, mine is five star bronze, but he's not completely leveled. But this would be my strategy. Um, oops, I keep clicking the wrong button there. Sorry, guys. Against a Titan. So if it is like the Titans we had in the past, where they were high hit point, but not necessarily um, high gem damage, I think the concern is going to be against a showboat Titan hitting him so hard that he stays down and you can't deal all the damage you would have been able to. So I'm actually looking at running Triple H uh, Skull King like this with the don't move the pin bar, 6 MP red to get started, and then the bleed in the sub. Um, because also, I don't know what moveset might be on him. If it's the protect gem moveset and it's a titan, I don't feel great about getting out of that. And those are low charge moves. So, And it, his other moveset is also low charge. So what I'm looking at doing is using the pin bar move to start, uh, get a five match, see if I can drop some reds in, maybe get another five match, um, hit the bleed as much as I can, and then hit the sub to drain them and get the bleed ticking, as well as throw those power gems out, because then every time you're getting a match, you're going to have those power gems on the board. So, And they're all going to be buffed from the uh, lane bonus. So Zombie Triple H, I think, is going to be a very key guy in this. Um, Striker Orton, with his huge power gems, should be big as well. Bleed guys like Sako should be great too. Um, Sako has a kick out, so if you get a big hit, you're going to get out. Orton's a striker. You get a big hit, you're going to get out. Um, so I'd be looking at guys like that. Um, guys that can kind of control the board, not necessarily do a huge pin, but can do tons and tons of damage. Um, so look for bleed guys, power gem guys. Uh, if you have them at five-star bronze, Texina would be amazing in here. Even if you don't, he's still going to be solid. So someone like Texina I would look to use against the Titan. Now, all of this is taking into account the Titan has a lot of hit points. If Feud starts and the Titan doesn't have a lot of hit points or you don't have to use them, then you're probably going to want to scrap everything I've just said. Um so guys like that, now uh, if you don't have a bunch of these big hitters or they're not leveled, um, and keep in mind you only get the bonus on the top one, you might have to start looking at a different option. Um, so maybe uh, someone like Hall of Fame Piper, if you have him four star gold, who can recycle a little bit, um, recharge easy, uh, sub down his, his hit points, maybe someone like that um, you could get away with that a lot of people have. Um, who else? Uh, a guy like Edge. Uh, you just want to use the destroy finisher to recycle the black and just keep chipping away at him. Um, a stun lock guy like your zombie Austins. Um, Bam Bam if you have a Bam Bam up there. Uh, zombie Cena um, could be a good one for you as well. So look for a stun lock guy um, if you don't have one of those power gem type guys. Um, if you don't have any of those guys, I said, it's probably going to start to get a little bit rough. Maybe like, a, um, oh boy, uh, Slick Rick has multiply damage and he has a sub. Uh, you want to watch out for that big, big boom though, because you don't want him to, um, to die. Bruno would be a really good one, um, as he's got bleed in a sub. Um, so yeah, look for guys like that. Wolfpack Sting could do really well for you. He can heal too. Let's see. Just trying to think of guys that you could potentially use. Actually, uh, Zombie Jeff has a bleed you could start stacking because, again, the concern is going to be that big pin and the Titan um, kicking out. But also, at the same time, you have to figure you have to sur have to survive, um, too. So be thinking about that as you're going into this. Look for a guy with a sub, a bleed, power gem move. Um, so power gems. Uh, so Harlem Heat, Booker T would be a great call um, as well if you have Harlem Heat. Not Harlem Heat Booker T, I'm sorry. Uh, Hall of Fame Booker T would be a great call as well. Um, Rock, if someone's running the red moves with Otis. Trickster Rock, if you got him leveled up. He's got Bleed and a Red Health Steel. That could be pretty clutch for you. Uh, not Red, I'm sorry, Red MP Steel. Um, so you can maybe, you're going to have to think a little bit differently with this. You could maybe even use... Um, I believe it's NWO Nash has the red steel, so you could po possibly run NWO Nash with the red MP steel. Um, 
and keep if if they're running the double red set i don't know what people are going to be running so keep that in mind if you don't you could also run a guy that has a really big hell steal if you have a trick eddie leveled up you know something like that um piper has the hell steal too so be looking at something like that if you have nwo show um he can heal himself and sub um but really i don't know if the damage will be fast enough once you get down to guys like that so keep that in mind too i would really look for a bleed guy or a power gem guy or a stun guy um to keep him locked down now that if if it turns out he doesn't hit hard and you don't have to worry about getting pinned at all then you can kind of go from there but just keep in mind if he doesn't hit hard that means he's going to kick out really easy and this strategy that i've listed is going to be based on dealing a ton of damage which i am deciding to base my strategy this way based on what the blog said about doing uh getting massive points for doing damage to the titan <clears throat> so hopefully so far this is making sense and you're following me um so the, the 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 point methods here that you see so let's look at the the middle one let's say the titan has five million hit points um you're gonna basically get one million points of war score if you take him down to zero now and you get two points for every war score so that's good for two million points winning winning the the battle is only worth ten thousand. First time win is worth uh, twenty five thousand um you can bring i think five i'm gonna assume five because that's what it looks like it's set up for so usually when it's that i think it's gonna be five um winning the brawl is worth two hundred fifty thousand. uh <clears throat> so you're basically looking at about 2.3 million that's assuming you can uh, sap the Titan of all of his hit points, and it's a 5 million hit point Titan. Uh, 2.3 million per brawl, with max being 110 million, that's going to take you 48 brawls. If the timer is a 15 minute timer, or you can finish in 15 minutes, that's 12 hours of feuding to max, roughly. Um, you may, if you're faster than that, obviously you, there's other guys you can hit you can deal damage on things like that so um so that would be a 12 hour fighting to max and that's also assuming you're able to drain the titan to zero every time so it's making some assumptions but this is very different and we haven't seen it so this is just the best kind of predicting that i could come up with um let's say you're the titan only has 2.5 million hit points uh that would equate to 85 brawls to max and 21 hours of feuding if it takes 15 minutes. So let's hope it's not that. Um, if it's that, if it's 2.5 million, you're probably going to be better off uh, trying to go as quick as you can, pin him with a hard hitter, and then do individual wins on everyone else that they're bringing. So let's hope they're not 2.5 million um, or it's just going to take forever. So, and for sure, if it's less than that, you're going to want to do the strategy where you try to get as many uh, wins as quick as you can, I would say, with the 250,000 war score um, for winning a, a, a brawl. Um, so you'll want to go that route. Um, if, if the Titan is upwards of 10 million and you could do all of the damage, it would take 26 brawls to max. Uh, or about six and a half hours. So that's kind of based on what the blog is saying um, and based on, on how long it will take, I'm kind of inclined to think we're going to see it be somewhere between five and 10 million. I could be way off base. Again, this isn't inside info. That's just me going off of the blog and trying to come up with the best plan ahead of time. All of this could go out the door when feud starts. So that's how I'm looking at it, guys. Um, look through your roster if you have someone that's going to take advantage of this line bonus uh, make sure and do that it's going to be hard to beat someone like zombie triple h doesn't move the pin bar sub and he leaves out uh power gems but be looking for a bleed guy um because there's a bonus there be looking for a power gem guy and be looking for a control guy or not move the pin bar guy so you know like a powerhouse macho would be amazing here stuff like that um i'm sure sid is pretty good i don't have sid i think he has a pretty big bleed but also um oh yeah even look at running someone like drew uh with his bleed if you have a leveled up drew just so think of different sets or sets you wouldn't normally run 
uh, as being a possibility. Five star Texina will be amazing because he can sub him and bleed him and drain him. <clears throat> I'm half tempted if 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 feud starts and like the zombie Triple H just isn't getting it done for me for some reason. Uh, I probably would will, will, would consider taking Texina to five star ahead of Talent Up. Um, the the rewards look really good for this event. I definitely want a shot at those bags. There's HBK shards in there. Uh, Acro HBK potential uh, Montez in there, and I really want Ford. So this is one I feel like I, I'm going to do what I have to to try to max and give myself the best chance at some of those shards and or Montez Ford. So there's a lot of coin in the solo, a lot of coin in the faction. Um, so be looking at what you need to do for your faction for that. But as far as the solo feud, that's what I'm thinking. That's my advice. Uh, that's my breakdown on it. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. It'll be interesting to see how smart or dumb I look after the feud starts. But uh, uh, do the best you can. Prepare for this. If not, have a backup plan for speed, uh, which would be similar to all the feuds um, that we've had recently for points where I suggest to take a small roster, get a lot of fast wins. Um, although we do have the damage and you do get points for war score. So you're probably better off taking a, a large roster, assuming you can get the fast wins. Anyway, guys, um, let me know what you think in the comments. I'm really excited about this feud change for this Titan thing. It's new, it's fresh. So I'm going to give it my best shot and uh, plan on having fun doing it. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching and good luck out there.